Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are gonna make some dub techno and we're gonna do it on the Nina. I love dub techno. I haven't really made too much of it, but I love listening to it. I love Trent Muller's early work. I still love his new stuff, but I love his early stuff where it really sort of got me into it. And today, the piece of music sounds like this. So let's get into it. So first up with the Nina, what we're gonna to wanna to do is obviously go and load and we're just gonna load an empty patch. I load that in and you can see we got a little bit of movement on some of the pots, getting it back to uh, like the default sort of setting. From there, we'll go out of load and we're gonna to wanna to do a bit of housekeeping before we kind of get caught, caught up in like sound designing and stuff like that. So let's turn the overdrive off. Let's pull the drive down a little bit. And I think we are good there. So obviously the first thing we wanna do is head over to the layer. So let me play this. I'm gonna play the, the MIDI along with it so you can hear as the, the sound shapes and whatnot. We just have this really super simple stuff going on so let's go over to layer this is where you can do the voicing and stuff like that so let's go down to we want poly and unison mode we want edit and then we're going to go three voices you can hear already starts to get a little bit louder a little bit thickened up and then we're going to utilize the the detune so we can detune those voices that, so let's go edit and seven. So now it's it's a little bit thicker, but it's still very, very basic sort of thing. So from here, let's start looking at some of the oscillators, the shapes and getting that sound sort of dialed in. So first up, oscillator one, we're gonna keep it as it is. And then oscillator two, we're going to, same again, we're gonna keep that as is. We're gonna really dial in the, the two envelopes. Obviously envelope generator one is gonna be for the cutoff and envelope generator two is for the, the volume of the, the synthesizer. So let's get a little bit, open that filter up a little bit more. Let's get a little bit more drive on there and then let's pull back the cutoff just a little bit. Next, we're gonna look at the envelope generator one. And like I said, that is gonna affect this. And this is how much it's affecting this filter. So let's get that cutoff all the way down and then we're gonna get the decay nice and snappy. So you can already hear starting to get a little bit better on that sound. Um, we're going to lift up the sustain a little bit and same same with the release so we want pretty a pretty short sort of uh, envelope for that filter and then next we're going to look at the amp envelope we're going to keep it pretty much the same for the two decays the sustain is going to be pretty much the same and then the release about the same as well. Now, so we're gonna keep that nice and short. Where the real magic for this patch sort of comes into its own is when we start adding the plugins and I'll go through all those as well. One last thing that I wanna do is we've got the effects here. So we're gonna add, we're gonna keep it at about 50 for that. We'll go over to uh, we're going to go to type, we want chorus, and then chorus mode, we're going to go, let's go with two, different flavor. It's pretty hard to pick up the, the too much difference between one, two, but obviously one plus two, you can kind of hear that a little bit better. We'll exit out of that, and I think we're, we're pretty much good. What we could do, 
I didn't do it when I initially made this, but let's add a little bit of noise in there as well. Let's pull that back a little bit. And then let's go with a bit of overdrive. Cool. So that's about it for the actual design of the patch. And it's pretty basic. We have a little, like you saw in the demo at the start, we have a little bit of, we have a little bit of play with that filter there. So as you're playing the music, you can kind of play along with something. And when you're recording the different passes, you can get that different flavor. And I really like having a lot of movement on the filter, like a lot of dynamics. So when you're doing say a build up or you want to we want a little bit more tension you can increase that as it goes to kind of give you a little bit more flavor so as we jump over to the screen the first thing we're going to want to add is we're going to come to i'm going to use the fab filter but you can use any filter that you have so for the first one we're going to use a band pass and I'm gonna kinda of go, this is, all of these figures are just ish figures, so around this kind of amount. And we wanna increase that peak a little bit. So now you can hear, it's really thinned out that sound. And then we're gonna pull back the amount of the effect. So we're going to let some of the original sound in there as well. So about 60-ish. Now when I open up the filter and close it again, kind of gives us a little bit more of a different feel there. And I think we can go back and sort of touch on some of these figures later, but I think we're in the ballpark now. Next up, we're going to add a little channel EQ. Just going to take a little bit of the low end off. Not too crazy. And then just add a little, a little bit more bite to the sort of the, the higher frequencies. After that, the sound is... It's pretty quiet when it's sort of down here. When I open the filter, it gets a little bit louder, but we want to add a little compression to that. So let's add the compressor in. And then I'm gonna pull down, kind of go, we'll go about 20, minus 29. Want the ratio up to about four. And then we're gonna increase this to about five. So when I open it up, we're kind of getting it a little bit more leveled out, but it's not too like limited or anything like that. Release, we can just increase that a little bit and then we can just pull down the attack just a hair. Everything else is pretty much good. And again, these settings you can do on any compressor. This isn't like a magical compressor that's giving it some flavor. I'm just kind of using a compressor to level out the sound a little bit. We'll close that down. Next up, we're gonna use a delay. And now for the delay, so I haven't been able to find a delay that has these modulation. I have like the sound toys and I have a few other ones and none of them kind of had this modulation down here. And this I found is what gets a lot of that sort of dub sound. So let's go to, I'm gonna go to eighth and we'll just smooth this out around 240 and bring this down to about 10. We want a good chunk of feedback. So let's go 90 and again, we want the, only the delay to be filtered out. So let's bring this up to 770 and this around to 
3,700 3, there. Now for the modulation, we wanted to get that sort of wavy sort of sound. So let's play it now. It's pretty, it's pretty straight with that. So let's increase this. You can already hear. We're starting to get a bit more movement in those delay taps and then let's increase the flutter and the intensity. So I think one thing we want this to be dotted. There we go. So now we're getting good movement, we're getting a good delay, and with the delays, they are sort of got their own movement. It's not just the sound and it gets quieter sort of thing. So we have a lot of movement going on now. Next up, let's look at a reverb. And let's give this a little boost there. And we want a nice sort of size for that. We want like a good sort of size. Bring the distance down. We want to create a little bit of depth with the sound. So let's pull this down to about 70 and then this to about 30-ish. And I think we'll increase the density and the size. So we're kind of getting into the, close into the ballpark now. And if I play it with the music, There you go. So there you go. Hopefully you got something out of it and you kind of got a little bit more of a tip with adding that filter with the band pass to start to kind of get that sound a little bit tighter. The actual sound design on the synth is pretty basic, so hopefully you can sort of translate any of these steps to uh, either the plug-in or the hardware synth that you have. And hopefully that you have something or you can build a couple of things, especially within Ableton, you can build those racks out to kind of emulate the delay within Logic to kind of get that real sort of dubby sort of sound. So hopefully I've inspired you to create something and you got something out of this tutorial. And if you have any other questions, feel free to leave them below. And until next time, see you later.